Good morning. It is a beautiful spring morning in Seoul. Um, it is kind of threatening rain, so it's just like gray and blustery, but the air is clear and it's a nice temperature. I am top of the world right now. It's bad how much the weather affects my mood, but here it is. I'm going to get a little breakfast at a place that I've been to once and I adored it. The person who owns it is so sweet. Um, so we're gonna go there. We're going to go to one cafe that has a big tray blossom tree because this is it. It's a, uh, spring is ending right here, or cherry blossoms are ending. So I'm gonna kind of say my goodbyes this week. Um, I'm meeting up with Natalia, who you guys might know from YouTube. Um, I'm meeting up with her finally. You know me, I probably will fail at filming that, but just know that that's what we're attempting to do today. So I'm gonna head over to the like, what is it, Gyeonggi Forest line area. But yeah, gotta focus on food. I was like dying on the bus, I was so hungry, so focus. <laughs> Country sway, the country sway, the golden sun. starstruck is starstruck even the right word she remembered me she remembered that i got the same toast look at this incredible um yeah she she remembered and i haven't been there in months <laughs> she's so nice please go it's so good and just like sitting there they make their own bread so it smells really good just <sighs> you gotta check their instagram because they aren't open all the time but it is worth it so good <laughs> So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long, the burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. Oh 
just checking in. It is Wednesday. It is really rainy and windy. All of the blossoms got knocked off and they're like not even on the street anymore. Like the wind took them away wherever blossoms go. This morning we spent the morning kind of nailing down the dates for our Europe trip. Now I am in kind of this crunch zone where it's like a great problem to have but because I take YouTube seriously and I consider it like a job um, I do want to have like all of my work scheduled ahead of time we're, we're leaving in like two and a half weeks now so I'm gonna be filming a ton and trying to schedule everything so that while I am in Europe you guys will still have your regular content um, and I think I will take off like a week or two um, Kurt is making breakfast if you're wondering and the windows open to get this fresh air in so it's chaos in here I'm sorry, but um, yeah I think I will take off like two weeks just because I don't want to be like checking my phone and like reading the comments I want to be kind of just Taking a vacation, you know, um, but I will be filming a lot of the trip not all of the trip But I will be filming some of it so you'll get some Europe vlogs, which I'm so excited to be making like travel vlogs again um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited. Um, today we're going to the hospital. Um, <clears throat> every six months I get my skin checked, uh, for skin cancer. Apologies if my skin looks whack. Um, I got a, on Monday, I got, a like, microneedling done, and usually I don't get any redness from it, but on my nose he must have just like gone a little deeper than usual and I have like three big like needle prick points so my nose is really red um that's what's going on microneedling yay um so yeah I will catch you guys maybe at the hospital spring was so strange like it was so short um, and just like odd. I, I don't know. It felt like the winter was so long and then spring was non-existent. So Welcome to summer yesterday. I was like a sweaty mess. So um, It begins. All right I'm gonna go make sure that I'm getting breakfast too because it smells amazing and I will see you guys later and day difference from where I was on Monday so Monday like I said I went to the dermatologist and what I didn't mention so I went in and I got something called in mode they actually use like heat and electricity to just kind of like invigorate the lower levels of your skin whatever and then they also gave me like a skin booster which is like a super serum but they use um micro needling to like shoot it real deep into your skin when i got my consultation these women oh my god were like forcing botox on everybody because it's like you're in a lobby and the consulting area is just behind a little screen and so you can hear pretty much everything that's going on the girl who went in before me um, the woman was like, oh, and like service, I'll give you Botox. Like, will you please get Botox? <laughs> and then for me too, she like wouldn't let it go. 
to the point where she even snuck it onto my receipt, like what I was gonna get for the day as I was about to pay. And I was like, what's that? And she was like, okay, but you have to promise me next time, next time you'll get it. And then today I go to the dermatologist that is trying to like, save your skin i said something like oh you know i've only really noticed a couple new freckles but they're definitely like age spots and she was like oh you're too young to be saying age stuff and then i told her you know i'm going on vacation but i promise i'm going to be really careful over summer because i'm not going to see her again for like couple months and she was like yeah but just remember also to have fun don't be so scared of the sun just wear your sunblock but like you gotta live and i was just like yeah, I do gotta live and she's like no like everything's fine other than she zapped me with this crazy dry ice and like oh anyway I just wanted to kind of put that out there if you go to one of these skin clinics do whatever you want to do with your face absolutely but go into that skin clinic knowing what they're gonna say to you like be prepared like I've had lines on my neck like neck wrinkles I guess since I was little, like I remember somebody talking to me about it in high school and I was like, I've never noticed other people's necks before. And so like I knew that she would say something because people are very scared of any kind of wrinkle. And so she was like, neck wrinkles, let's talk about it, blah, blah, blah. So like you need to know what someone else might see as an imperfection because if you go in there and, and they kind of like hit you with this like, whoa girl, you need to get those forehead wrinkles taken care of, you might just do it because you feel like you need to. Um, and so I'd rather people do things because they want to rather than they feel kind of pressured by these companies. And so yeah, that was just something I hadn't been to a like a skin clinic like that in quite a while and I was just kind of shocked by that and then to go to this people go out today and have her be like girl you're doing great so just like know yourself know yourself while you're going in there what am i doing for the rest of the day oh i am going to be kind of organizing my space um we are going to be traveling really really light on this trip i've already kind of spaced out what I'm going to wear and that kind of sent me down this rabbit hole of like why do I have this many clothes if technically all I need are like these clothes and actually I checked and of course they had a ton um and it fits in perfectly because Skillshare sponsored this video thank you Skillshare you're making my travels possible Skillshare is an online learning community right you know this they have so many organization classes. I ended up taking the how to declutter and organize any space class taught by this really cute couple, but they also have a bunch of time management classes and like how to organize your workflow, which I am definitely going to be diving into. If you would like to try Skillshare, um, which I have a class on Skillshare if you'd like to take it by the way, um, I'll link that down below. Uh, but the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get one month free of Skillshare. Access to all the classes. Did I check if they have language classes? They do. They have like three minute Italian classes or something. I don't know. Skillshare, literally whatever you need, you can find it on there. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this. Um, link in the description box. And yeah, I'm gonna catch you at dinner because I'm gonna ugly clean and um, nurse my poor shoulder because ow, that dry ice hurt. So anyway, okay, thank you for being here. And um, sorry for the little like skin pep talk, but this vlog is already a mess. So welcome to the show, you signed up for it. So see ya.
morning everyone i can't find a way to get this mask to fit my face i'm so sorry um we're in soul forest the tulips are all mm, they're like 40 percent out i'd say but all of the cherry blossom petals fell it looks like magic so we are going to and by the way this is the tulip area we're gonna go to a cafe because i'm going to do some europe planning Kurt likes to kind of be dropped somewhere and just like without a plan travel, which is great, which is fine. And we're gonna try and do a hybrid of that. But sometimes like we have a limited amount of time and money. So I wanna make sure that like we aren't accidentally spending too much money. Like if we don't have our accommodations all set up and stuff like that, or like um, how much can we save by buying a train pass and all this stuff. So I'm just doing like those little logistics as far as like, how do we get our transportation cards? So yeah, I'm gonna look at these oh, daffodils a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna hit uh, probably center coffee. And God, I gotta fix my mask. I look so silly. Um, but yeah, that we're, you plan the thing, do the thing. Okay, cool. It's rainy and cold and spring-like today, so not doing a whole lot, but see ya. I can't even look at myself. <laughs> bread friend from last year. <laughs> California. California. <laughs> oh. You like bread? Oh, there. <laughs> gotta be okay with a little bit of dust in my screen because that is so expensive oh my god so we're not cleaning it today <laughs> but uh yeah my glamorous life i came home i obviously took a shower i did some laundry i worked a little bit and i kurt has a dinner meeting i'm just gonna order food and stay in and i'm gonna read and because a lot of you guys might not follow my book channel i just thought i'd give you a little update on what i'm reading currently because i have a ton of books that i need to read before i have to return them to the library i use literally life-changing app that i talk about all the time i'm so sorry libby and overdrive check if your local library uses overdrive or libby it is a digital library filled with ebooks so if you have you can download kindle app onto your phone and read on your phone um literally life-changing that is how i read so much for free. Libraries are amazing. So anyway, um, what am I reading right now? I just finished The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina, which was really good. Magical realism, really fun. Also last night, just finished A Magic Steeped in Poison, which is a young adult fantasy that is based off of a kind, I guess like kind of Chinese mythology, but like the thing that makes it so freaking good is that the magic is tied to tea and it just the descriptions of tea and the food oh my god don't read this book 
hungry. It was really good and the second book is gonna come out uh, this summer. So yeah, that. Um, I am tonight, actually, ooh, no, sorry. Last night I started The Island of Missing Trees, which I think is about, from what I gather, it is about a girl uh, who is from Cyprus, but she's never been to Cyprus. She was like born in the UK. I don't know. I've only read the first chapter, okay? Um, sounds really good so far though. Um, then I'm going to be reading The Renegades by Marissa Meyer, which is, I have read almost all of her books. This one, see, I don't know what, I never know what her books are about. Her books always throw me for a loop, so I have no idea. I also am finally going to start the young adult, is it a fantasy, uh, series called Stalking Jack the Ripper, um, which apparently is really excellent and it takes place in London, so I'm just getting ready for my travels. Um, I also asked for recommendations and somebody recommended The Time Traveler's Guide to Elizabethan England, which I think is nonfiction. Yeah, everything else I read last month, right? Yeah, I'm reading The Bear and the Nightingale, which is a Russian, based off of Russian fairy tale. I don't know. You guys know I read a lot of fantasy. So that's what I'm reading recently. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna order food. Ooh, I did not start the timer on these. Hey, 20 minute timer, please. 20 minutes, starting now. Yeah, I will see you guys, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to take you to a nearby city to show you all of the cute little cafes, because there is this neighborhood that is just like, <gasps> made for cafe hopping and it's beautiful in the summer so I want to get you ready for it uh, so I'm filming all day tomorrow and then um, but the weekend looks really beautiful I have a friend who's visiting from Singapore um, so I'm probably gonna meet up with her and yeah it's another kind of vlog of me just like being on my computer so apologies but I feel like I need to have one fun week and then one work week <laughs> we're on the work one um, I will see you guys on Saturday okay Let's go in the garden You'll find something waiting Right the way you left it Lying upside down When you finally find it You'll see how it's faded the undecided slider when you turn it around. Everything stays you have to, you have to right where you left it. Everything okay. stays, but it still changes ever so slightly. Daily and nightly, in little ways, when everything stays. Down to the ocean, the crystal tide is raising. The water's gotten higher as the shore washes out. Keep your eyes wide open, even when the sun is blazing. The moon controls the tide and can cause you to drown. Everything stays right where you left it. Everything. Hi. I'm gonna be real shaky because I'm walking fast. Um, it's Saturday. It is the most beautiful weather ever. I'm in a short sleeve. I was a little bit cold, but now it's gorgeous. I met up with one of my dear Singaporean friends and she got me snacks. Yeah, literally today was just spent walking outside because it was beautiful and then sitting in a cafe and drinking tea and Kurt and I got Mara, nice and spicy. Um, really wonderful, this was just very nice. So I'm gonna head home. Kurt went home to take a nap because he was like so tired. Um, so I'm gonna go make sure that he is awake so that he doesn't mess up his sleeping schedule. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Good morning everyone. So it is Sunday morning. It's beautiful right now. Right now, in this very moment, I'm feeling fine. But man, I am on my walk, obviously. I'm under this beautiful tree. I 
woke up with the worst anxiety. Like I'm just going for my walk and I feel like there's so much that I need to be doing, but also like something really bad is gonna happen. Like I'm just, it's uh, not going real well up here today. Um, so I think I'm going to take this opportunity to take the day off and just kind of focus on me. I actually have to film a book video today. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of work, but as far as like daily vlogging, um, I'm gonna give myself a little pass, give you a pass too, cause you don't wanna see this. Yeah, other than this morning's weird little feelings, um, this was a really good week. Got to see some good friends, got to see some good nature. Um, yeah, just great. And this is kind of our last tree of spring, they're gone, but everything's green. So no complaints here. Yeah, I'm just excited. This week is gonna be, this upcoming week is gonna be really, really busy. Have to do a lot of filming and stuff like that, but all of our Europe plans are set. We're ready to go. I just need to pack and uh, check if I need a COVID test and then we're, ah, we're going. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm definitely, I've, I can't wait to bring you vlogs. I miss vlogging like outside of Korea. Um, so yeah, just overall, like the future looks very bright and I just need my brain to remember that. So anyway, wishing you all really well. And also thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this. Oh my goodness. Um, did I organize? Yes. Does my closet look amazing yes am i gonna show you though no because it's you know i mean baby steps it's amazing from where it was <laughs> um so yeah thank you to skillshare if you would like to try skillshare first 1000 people to click that link in the description box we'll get a month free of skillshare um check out my class if you're interested in starting vlogging this summer hey hey or winter my southern hemisphere babes um check it out. I will link that down below as well. So yeah, from me and this tree that I don't know what it is. It's not cherry. It's not, is it apple? Crab apple? I don't know. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's like the best color. Um, I'm going to leave. Oh my God. There's a border collie that's like dappled in gray. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so I'm going to try and get close to that dog and I will see you guys next time. Um, hope you guys are all doing okay mentally as well. And if you're not, I hope that you're able to give yourself grace like I am. So, and, um, uh, yeah. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Thank you always. Bye. Day.